Cholera. What is it? Do we like it? No. Cholera is an acute infectious disease characterized by watery diarrhea and vomit leading to loss of fluid and electrolytes, dehydration and collapse. Cholera was studied by John Snow in the 19th century when access to resources and knowledge was quite limited. And the belief of the miasma theory was dominating the cause of multiple diseases. The miasma theory was thought to cause cholera, a poisonous vapor in the air, which were suspended particles of decaying matter characterized by a foul smell. But John Snow didn't settle for this simple theory like everyone else did. John Snow was a doctor and his actions were based on his prior knowledge of the scientific mechanisms of the respiratory system. That allowed him to discard the notion that cholera and other contagious diseases were spread only because of miasma. So, if John Snow didn't believe in miasma, what was his theory? His theory was that cholera victims were infected by the drinking water. However, this theory was not really accepted. People mocked and people criticized Snow, calling his theory pure hogwash. So Jon Snow set out to prove them all wrong, and that he did. He proved them all wrong and saved the day on two separate occasions. The cholera epidemic of 1853 with the two London water companies, and the 1854 Broad Street cholera outbreak. But you've heard those stories a million times before, so I won't bore you with the details. The fascinating thing about Jon Snow's work was his use of conventional and unconventional applications of epidemiology. Snow used two approaches in his investigations which are known today as descriptive and analytical epidemiology. The first approach, descriptive epidemiology, is used to formulate hypotheses and is concerned with the characteristics of the people affected and looks at time and place of occurrence. Snow demonstrated descriptive epidemiology by creating the Voronoi diagram. This map is a tremendous contribution to the field of epidemiology. For Snow recognized that part of treating disease requires viewing patients not as individual or isolated cases, but within the larger environment in which they live. He also used his geographic correlations of the outbreak as the logic to support a public health intervention to control London's cholera epidemic. The second approach that John used is analytic epidemiology which is concerned with the search of the causes and effects, or the why and how. He used analytic epidemiology to quantify the association between exposures and outcomes, and to test hypotheses about causal relationships. Snow demonstrated four examples where he used analytical epidemiology. Through data collection. Snow used data collection methods to conduct ground inspections and use governmental records of water companies supplying each household. Basically, he was frantically dashing about the city, knocking on the doors of the citizens, standing in the hallways of the rich and powerful, asking mad questions. But nonetheless, he worked tirelessly to search through medical journals, shout out to William Farr, and governmental reports about cholera, looking for references to water conditions and sewer facilities. He created a case study, his brand experiment, which used basic statistics to compare how many people develop cholera in houses supplied by one water company with the number of cholera cases in houses supplied by another. One company drew water from the Thames upstream of the city and the other from further downstream, where sewage also entered the water. Crucially, both companies fed houses in the same district, meaning that any differences seen would be more likely due to water source than where people lived. He was unbiased. He took an unbiased approach to collecting and interpreting data and tried to understand the geographic and cultural mechanisms at play without resorting to preconceived beliefs. He used chemical analysis. Snow used chemical analysis to test water samples from each water company. He believed cholera could be contained if he simply kept people away from contaminated water. And so he set out to find the evidence that the disease was transmitted through water. He found the South Street and Vauxhall pump contained four times as much sodium as the Lambeth pump. And with that information, he proceeded to get samples from the water sources he couldn't determine and tested all samples in his lab. His results were astonishing. 
He found that 38 of 44 deaths that occurred that month were from the South Street and Vauxhall Water Company. And you are 993% more likely to die from choosing the water company. In the end, Jon Snow was way ahead of his time. While everyone was flinging poop around and singing London Bridge is Falling Down, he was like, hey, maybe we shouldn't do that. Then he showed them all the evidence he found to back up his theory. It was only then that they agreed and said, yeah, let's stop flinging poop. It was Jon Snow that inspired fundamental changes in the water and waste systems of London, which eventually led to other cities following suit. Overall, changing the way in which public health is conducted around the world, which is why he is crowned the father of epidemiology.